over this hour, at least seven people are reported to have been killed in India during protests led by India's Dalit community. The demonstrations broke out after the Supreme Court ruled that people accused of discriminating against India's lowest caste should not face immediate arrest. The Indian government has asked the court to reconsider its judgment. Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has put on hold an agreement with the United Nations under which thousands of African migrants currently living in Israel were to be resettled abroad. It's not quite clear why the deal, which was announced earlier, has been suspended. Zimbabwe's President Emerson Malangangwa has arrived in Beijing for a four-day state visit. Zimbabwean state media says he's expected to sign a memorandum of understanding which will help his government's plans for economic revival. Russia's Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov has accused Western countries of playing what he called children's games over the poisoning of a former spy in Britain. More than 20 nations have expelled Russian diplomats after the nerve agent attack on Sergei Skripal and his daughter Yulia.